Let's, but let's, I will be in New York for this fight. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's talk about this. So I was going to say, let's get some predictions from you. So oh. this fight, Golovkin Jacobs, both big KO punchers, both big middleweights. What happens? Yeah, I know. I, I like Jacobs. I do. I think he's he's a formidable fighter as well. But Triple G is my guy. Like, that's <laughs> my number one. We're huge fans. Um, I have two girlfriends, really good girlfriends. We all love boxing. That's our thing. And we go to the fights together and stuff. We watch together. We follow all the websites together. Did you see what he said? La, la, la. We're still kind of... Follow cool. my channel. Right? We will. Of course. Of course. <laughs> but um, I just think, I don't think there's anyone that could beat Triple G. And I know I'm going to get it. Right? <laughs> you know, I'm a big Canelo fan. Calm down. <laughs> But if you ask me who my favorite was, it is Golovkin. And, and it, it, what did we talk about earlier? He's still a show. What, what is it? The baby face yeah. assassin. Uh, I love that name. <laughs> That's like Shaquille O'Neal style. You know, he brings it. And he's a gentleman. And, and he's kind of bringing, um, like, he's just, he's eloquent. Even with, a, with his limited English, he still is very charismatic. And very much like, you want to watch me. Like the confidence oozes out of yeah, him, you know, yeah. and he brings it yeah. in the ring. There's no, he's no joke. So I want to see him fight everybody. And I'm so glad that that Canelo Triple G fight's going to happen because I really think it was hurting Canelo yeah, or the yeah. team. Well, that's so my next question. So Canelo versus Chavez. You know, you said, yeah, right. I mean, okay. we're Latino, we're Mexican. Uh, what what happens there? Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. They're going to take away my Mexican card. Um, <laughs> So, both Mexican, so you're I know, but right. you know, they're very passionate. The, I saw um, Julio, Julio Jr. He fought at, um, where the at Galaxy play? Uh, StubHub. StubHub. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I've been up since 3 a.m. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, Still looking great. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, I was at that fight and they didn't like the way it ended. Do, do you remember that fight? Uh, was that when he got knocked out against Fomfara? Yeah, and he, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm, like done. I'm done. No mas. So, uh, <laughs> Roberto Duran, another dude. How could you not? Um, so, um, what was I saying? I, at that fight, like, it was also, I just saw the anger and the passion of Mexican fighting fans. And I feel like that's how this fight is going to be. Like, even though we're all Mexican, there's going to be lions drawn, and that's their bot. That's their guy, um, especially because his father is going to be there, and he's in the corner. I mean, that's why I think Oscar didn't get a fair. When he did all he did for our community, they a lot of people treated him poorly, and I'm sure they regret it now. But I think a lot of people could not swallow that Oscar beat their champ. You know, I mean, he got, he got us a gold medal. He put East LA on the map. And Los Lobos. <laughs> it's very true. No, but for real. I mean, there's. I could go on and on. I just. I. I think it's. I hope it's a good fight. I want Julio to Junior to come out and and be a, a good competitor and and I want it to to go a while. And I won't press you for a prediction because I could tell you're trying to avoid it. To, you know another reason why? And you'll. Uh, so I box. I pretend I'm a boxer. I use it most, mostly for training. See the guns you can see. No, what? <laughs> no, uh, this is my winter coat. Give me a month or two. I was in Hawaii and then I was in Mammoth, and so all we do is eat, you know Mexicans. I was with my family. Woo. Um, so at um, what was I saying? Oh, at my gym, I box for City or at City of Angels. It's a big gym. Yeah, the uh, Golden Boy has a lot of their promotions there. So that's my gym. And so um, I've seen Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. there. And I just thought it was so cool that he was like talking to the fans. And, and he was there with um, uh, uh, from Jane the Virgin. Um, I know who you're talking Camille, about. But I want to say his character's name. Oh, well, that show's awesome. He's awesome. He's a huge boxing fan. And so I just like that they were all together and good vibes. And so I don't not like either one of them. I think Canelo really needs to come out strong, though, to go into the next fight, That's which is... Next. Which, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? So the, he dominates that fight, and then, you, you know, my guy dominates this fight. How great right. is the September fight going to be? You just said my guy. Golovkin is your guy, but you just said you are Mexican. Canelo's obviously your boy oh, too. What what happens when they get together? What happens when when Canelo and Triple G get together? 
I just think it's going to be a huge money maker. It's going to be a must see. I probably won't be able to afford to go to that fight, so I'll host a party right. <laughs> <laughs> with my dad and my, you know, all the kids. And but um, I just I think it'll be legit. I mean, how much longer do we have to wait? I don't want anybody accused of running the way Hayfeather did, like waiting till someone was really old and not that he. See, now I'm gonna get in trouble with his fans. <laughs> it's so hard to talk about boxing, honestly, without. It's about being I'm unbiased. Just saying, you have to fight the best at their best to be the best, and he didn't. I don't care what you all are going to come at me with, he didn't. Everybody knows that. If you're a true boxing fan, he didn't. He waited and waited and made up stories and rumors and this and that. He just wanted to get paid and keep his record. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I think it'll be different with this one. I think, how great would it be if it uh, ends in like a late round knockout or a draw and they give it? That's a rivalry. We, now, we need more rivalries. These promoters need to let the good the best fight each other it's frustrating as a boxing fan and I can say this because I'm not being paid to do this right. <laughs> let them fight give us the fights we want please it's so frustrating we know what it's about you know don't insult our intelligence like we, we that, so I, I like that golden boys you know at the table with K2 and it's gonna happen it has to happen don't wait a few years because we all know the ages of Triple G he's at his prime Golden Boy keeps saying Canelo is the best fighter, so let's see. Exactly. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's get that exactly. rivalry going. <laughs> <laughs> tell, uh, tell the fans where to follow you, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Tell them sure, where to follow Sure. You. So um, I'm ABC7 Alicia, that's A-L-Y-S-H-A, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. <laughs> It's pretty easy. <laughs> Alicia, thank you so much for the time. It's great having a, another boxing fan, a boxing man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And we'll see you at the fights Don't for sure. Don't come at me with hate. I really am. I try to do everything in life with love and admiration. And I love boxing. And I love the sport. There's just a few bad apples. That's all. <laughs> Leave her alone. She's a very sweet person. <laughs> thank you so much, Alicia. Appreciate it. You too. Thank you Bye. very Have much. Have fun. Thank see you in New York. Yeah, yeah we'll do.